Sometimes I think my generation takes technology for granted. I like to think about the kids growing up in the 70s and the 80s watching the sci-fi movies, thinking about the early 2000s living in some sort of AI utopia. And you know, we're, we're getting there and just played better in the movies. Remember IBM's Watson, you know, the robot that beat some of Jeopardy's finest? Well, that was seven years ago. And since then, Watson's greatest achievement has been that Jeopardy win. So my question is, where's all the cool AI stuff? Hey guys, my name is Ryan. And if you like hearing the news, but you don't want to be quite as serious about it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Well, Watson's launch was kind of like a mass market striptease that had the world in awe of the potential of AI. And while it did end the AI winter, it still has yet to produce a market viable technology. So why are products with massive awareness and genuinely innovative technology failing? Now, you know, technology does what we ask it to do. Made for TV AI like my one-eyed friend is gonna make for good TV. Turning that into a practical application for business, now that's a different story. So I ask you, what do you think a practical application for AI could be in the future? Leave a comment down below and keep it realistic. Okay, I don't wanna hear, I want AI as a best friend. And I mean, look, I have Alexa and that is a practical application, but man, it is depressing. Look at Google Glass, Oculus Rift, Hoverboard, Segway, and Flip video cameras. Dead, 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 super dead. Why are products with massive awareness and genuinely innovative technology failing? And the answer is pretty simple. None of them had a practical application that added value to the customer. Google Glass was a novelty that came with the expense of the user's dignity. Oculus was supposed to be a premium entertainment, but its ecosystem was kind of iffy on that spectrum. Hoverboards and segways, while still around, lost the battle to human legs, which is really sad because I hate walking. And the iPhone killed the flip phone in 2007. It turns out it's impractical to carry a flip camera with your smartphone, especially when your phone has a better camera and you know, the ability of a phone. And therein lies the problem. When you market something as a quantum leap, it better deliver massive value. In the meantime, practical applications of advanced technologies will deliver value for the investment nine times out of 10. Big business in particular, I likes those odds. And big business, you know, is most business these days. For instance, if Walmart was a country, it would be the 10th largest in the world based on revenue alone. And it would be the only country that I would feel comfortable walking around in my pajamas in all the time. And given the size and scale of some companies, you might think they're only interested in transformative technology. However, I found in most cases, the opposite is true. Everyone hates change. Our imaginations have let our minds run off on this Star Trek inspired daydream. When it comes to AI, culturally speaking, it's either love-making robots or omnipresent talking computers or bust. And those dreams will come true one day, I hope. But our impatience is standing in the way of real progress in the present. We need to take the baby steps. If you think about it, AI is all around us, just not in the way that you would imagine it. For instance, when Microsoft changed its free user policy for OneDrive, it was a small change with a potentially huge impact. And you may not know what I'm talking about, but the point is, for every 1% of the total amount of free users Microsoft converted, the revenue was an estimated $107 million. In addition to that, Amazon's AI-driven recommendation engine has made it astronomical amounts of money online. What do these numbers mean? AI is good for business. Small changes create big results. I'm sorry, every time I think about big or massive, and every time I say it, I keep thinking about PP jokes. Stop it, Ryan. The point is that corporations have struggled with the expectation and the oversold promise that AI can disrupt your entire suite of business processes. And that's precisely how you fail at AI. Instead, don't change a friggity fracking thing about your processes, change your expectations. Smaller, more focused implementations of AI will change the world. What's wrong with a narrow application of AI in a single business unit? Just get started with AI. Nothing more, nothing less. You'll be surprised how much you accomplish with a measured, practical approach to this technology. And look, this is just AI today. If we truly wanna get artificial intelligence to the place we want it to be, the place we see in sci-fi movies, then we're gonna have to keep implementing these steps until we hit the singularity. What's the singularity? Well, that's a topic for another video. Remember, I'm Ryan. And I'll see you guys in the next one.